I grew up in grass. I was surrounded by nice flowers. I loaded my brain with the smell. And after many years, I'm still passionate. My style of perfumery is sparkling, you know. It's full of colors, full of luminosity. I need to smell the sea, feel the salty effects, watching a blue sky with lots of lightness. You know, I have to walk in the forest and smell. I go back to my desk and I write the ideas and others. Close to nature, it's where I find my perfumery. My style, you know, is minimalist, but to make things simple, it's very complicated. Let's welcome on stage our Lifetime Achievement Perfumer of the Year, Maestro Olivier Cresp. Thank you very much, uh, Armand. It, uh, your words are, are very kind. Good evening, everybody. It's uh, really a, a great pleasure um, for me to be with you tonight. It's uh, a great honor as well to be uh, with you. A great moment for, for me because that means really something in my career. So as Armand explained, um, I'm born in Grasse, I grew up in Grasse, the cradle of perfumery. My father was a, a broker, a specialized in uh, raw materials. Um, he was buying and selling some bergamot, lemon. He was also um, involved in flowers, such as jasmine, rose, um, carnation, violet leaves, and he really gave me the passion to become a perfumer. As Armand explained, every night he brought with me, he brought with him some samples at home and I was dipping every time some new ingredients, some pure ingredients, so my, uh, um, my brain was uh, um, lucky to, um, to smell those um, amazing naturals. At the age of uh, eight, nine years, I wanted to create my first perfume. And um, I went into the, the garden of my, uh, my parents and I cut all the flowers. My, my mom wasn't so happy, I can tell you. <laughs> and it's a true story. Huh? Uh, so I went as well to buy some alcohol in the pharmacy. I went back. I was uh, using the, uh, the flowers in, in the uh, alcohol and I left them macerate for about uh, two days and the final result was a disaster. <laughs> Nevertheless, at the age of uh, 18 years old, um, I wanted to become a perfumer and uh, instead of following uh, uh, the path of uh, all the grassois going to, to study perfumery in the, the factories or in the, 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 the companies. My father sent me to uh, New York. He was very, uh, very wise, you know. And it, was, it wasn't, um, I mean, it wasn't for a grassois really easy to move, you know, from a, a small a town, a small village, I would say, going to uh, the big city. And uh, I've been um, 
uh, working uh, in Manhattan. I've been working also in New Jersey for a small company called Biddle Sawyer. And it's really where I started my career. Uh, I was making some, uh, some creations as well as some knockoff uh, in order to, to be, uh, <laughs> to be, to be uh, talented. Uh, at the beginning, we have to, to uh, I mean, to copy the others. <laughs> and, um, and in fact, uh, I met someone, uh, it was very important uh, in my career, um, he was a flavorist, and he showed me how to make a dark chocolate, a cocoa, a praline, and some honey. So now, you understand how um, I created more or less angel from uh, Thierry Mugler. There is a, a, a great link between what I learned in the States and with Angel. I'm very proud of um, uh, creating Angel because um, it's, it's a trendsetter, it's a huge success, but even I think I'm more proud to have created a new family, the Gourmand family. Thank you. Thank you very much. So for, 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 light, for light blue Dolce Gabbana, I've been using some uh, Firmenich uh, dry woods, very, very special, the ones I liked a lot. And um, I mean, it has been a huge success. It's still a big, uh, big success and it's uh, still influencing the, the market, the worldwide market of uh, fragrances uh, because the fragrance is nice, but also the woods the dry woods I used are, are very, very interesting. So now I want to, to thank the Fragrance Foundation to have elected me uh, to receive uh, this award. It's, uh, it's a great honor. Um, it's a great day for me, believe me. Uh, as well, I want to uh, thank our clients because, uh, I mean, without the clients, I mean, we, we can't exist. We, we need you. And together we are making the fragrances and together, as Linda was saying, we are sharing also the uh, successes. And as well, um, I want to thank the Firmenich family, the uh, management, the perfumers, the master perfumers, all my Firmenich colleagues, uh, because without uh, the... Um, um, Without the talent of Firmenich, without the expertise, the values of Firmenich, I wouldn't be standing in front of you tonight. The um, level of creativity is very high, and I really enjoy working in this company. Now, I want also to thank my um, family, my artistic family, um, to my wife, She's um, designing some uh, jewelry. Um, she supports me every day in every way. As well, uh, I want to thank uh, my son Sébastien, as uh, Armand was uh, explaining. Um, he's um, a perfumer working uh, in Paris, and uh, I'm very proud of him. He has uh, lots of ideas. And as well, I want to thank my daughter, Anaïs. She's talented. She's an uh, architect and a designer. And finally, uh, I would like to say um, that in the coming years, I'm going to work some, uh, some new themes, some new ideas, in order to, um, I mean, to surprise you even more. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>